Hey guys, welcome back to the Wall Street Bull. Anthony here. I hope you're all doing well and staying positive out there. It is never a dull and boring moment in crypto finance and the stock market. That is why I love doing daily market updates. Now today, a lot of juicy information going on right here. Brad Garlinghouse is an absolute savage and a bull. It's awesome. Absolute legend. He is absolutely ripping the former SEC chair a new one, which is really interesting as well. A lot on Solana today. Again, can this thing actually hit 3000 US dollars? We will have to see about that one as well. Rob Kiyosaki predicting one of the biggest crashes in world history coming in markets. And it's I think it's going to happen as well. Chainlink updates. We've got KBank uh, in Thailand actually acquiring another crypto exchange, building up their crypto uh, sector, which is really interesting as well. Shiba Inu's burn rate is skyrocketing and Van Eck as well has just resubmitted their Bitcoin ETF application to Gary Gensler, which is insane. I'm going to be going over my crypto day trading bots with three commas and OKX. Very, very bullish stuff there. And we're going to go through the prices. Everything's happening today. Let's get into the video. Massive shout out and thank you to every single one of you who have subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. If you are new, smash the subscribe button down there and turn on that little bell notification because as you can see right here, absolutely love documenting my journey with investing with cryptos, dividend stocks, growth stocks, talking about passive income, building financial freedom. And of course, my goal at the end of the day is to build generational wealth. So come along this incredible journey. It's getting crazy at the moment. Also, guys, little disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. Please do your own research and due diligence, all right? This video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Formalities are out of the way, ladies and gentlemen. And I just want to point out, if you haven't joined the Wall Street Bull Patreon, join up. I'm literally, as we are recording, uploading a video there on my latest setup with three commas. Very, very nice. All right. Let's get into the community tab. Let's have a look at what's going on there. Yes, this is my XRP skull ring for my jewelry business, which you can see behind me. Uh, and yes, that has taken some time. Very, very bullish. You can actually purchase this skull ring and get 40% off. The code is BF40. So the link is actually right there. Go check it out, bulls. It's really incredible stuff. And that is a solid silver ring. They are not small. As you can see right there, they're insane. So go check it out. Now, top old coins. That is a shameless plug, but it's a cool ring and uh, XRP to the moon. Uh, we've got top old coins, Gala. We've got Axe Infinity, ICP, Sandbox, and Mana. Seems like play to earns creeping its way back. I don't know. I'm really bullish on play to earn games, and I do hold a few altcoins. Now, let's go to CoinSpot and have a look what's going on here with the Australian prices. Now, they are my Australian partner here on the channel. Thank you, CoinSpot. There is a referral link below. If you use that, you will get $10 in Bitcoin. Of course, with this stuff, do your own research. Now, prices are in Aussie dollars, just making that clear. Bitcoin sitting at 54,000, Ethereum's at 2,900. Uh, we have XRP as well at 89 cents, still insanely undervalued. Solana's up nearly 2% to $53. This has been doing incredibly well. And I purchased this when the collapse of FTX happened, right? So I bought up Solana. And uh, there are some insane price predictions coming for this, ladies and gents. Chainlink as well, there are some updates happening with this. It's $17, Maddox at a dollar, Polkadot $6, now XLM is at 18 cents, Shiba Inu, too many zeros, but I'm still holding on to that, haven't sold any, ICP $6, Hedera is at 8 cents, VeChain still holding above 3 cents, yes, Quant is at 169, we have Optimism at $2.27 today, uh, scrolling down, let's have a look here, Algo is at 17 cents, Axe Infinity $9.00. I wish the earn feature was still on CoinSpot because I was earning 45% APY. It's absolutely crazy. Uh, XDC as well at $0.07. Cents. CFX, $0.25. Cents. And uh, IOTA, $0.25 cents as well. Casper at $0.05. Cents. Very, very nice. Let's have a look at Reef. Uh, still in the pennies, which is nice as well, down 0.01% today. And XYO, up nearly 1.8% today. Again, still in the pennies. Very, very nice. Now, let's go to Crypto Bubbles. Now, Bulls. I have the Wall Street Bull University linked below. I put up all my buys, sells, trades, indicators, day trading bots, my futures grid trading bots, which you can have a look at. Uh, obviously, all of the updates, which I'm literally uploading now uh, to demonstrate what's going on with my three commas because I'm just doing an updated video on that for my Patreon members. 
And uh, it's a very, very bullish community. Thank you to those 512 people. You guys absolutely rock. 1,342 posts. I also put up in there my dividend investing, which is very important to me because it provides cash flow every single month. And I just bought a new stock in the portfolio and I've put it up in the Patreon uh, this morning. Go check it out. It's really, really bullish. And I love talking with everyone in there as well. You can directly message me. Really, really nice stuff. And it's so much better than Discord when you've got like 10 or 20,000 people just spamming the hell out of it. You can't really get answers. So this is legit a serious community that I've put together that uh, obviously can ask me questions. And I'm putting up here what is making me money. Legit. No BS. Okay, this is real stuff right now. It's really awesome. So go join up. I think a lot more people are getting interested in this because, again, we're all in the same space and I'm doing stuff that's pretty wild at the moment and I'm documenting it in here exclusively. Join up. Now, let's go to OKX so you can see that. And before I do, and uh, this is my three commas trading bot app. This is incredible as well, just to keep an eye on what's going on here. You can see the value of your your, your trading, uh, obviously, and more importantly, the bots and uh, OKX as well. This is working in conjunction with them. Both are partners of the channel. I am uploading a video basically demonstrating what I've got going on, on, on at the moment. Uh, now, you can see I'm trading 50 altcoins uh, in the portfolio here. And active deals is ridiculous. Trading 15x leverage on three commas. I recommend setting this up on a desktop or an iPad or whatever big screen you've got just makes things a lot easier uh, to set up. But you can see here that there are a lot of deals, okay? Incredible stuff. Now for three commas, I use it with OKX because they're an incredible exchange in Australia and they allow me to trade with leverage. Unfortunately, I can't use this with Binance. We're trading with leverage. I can't trade leverage on any other exchange, only OKX and they are incredible. Now with three commas, you can use this on any platform you wish or any exchange. I use OKX, you can use it on whatever you like. Now, if you use this and want to obviously try it out, if you buy the full year membership, you will get 50% off that. And if you use the referral link below as well as the 50% off the full year, you can get 10% off a monthly subscription, which is better than uh, everything else, which is awesome. So let's have a look here on OKX. This is uh, my actual portfolio. And uh, given the market is quiet at the moment, people need to understand on the weekends, this is when I like to dollar cost average into cryptos because the market is quiet. I'm up $6 today. Yes, I know it happens because again, coming out of the weekend, everyone's still sleeping around the world. So on the week, I'm still up $2,537 at 16%. On the month here, 3,700, that's 26%. And on the six months, again, $17,909, 987%. That is using with the three commas trading bots. Right. Now you can see here, I've got 201 positions or open orders, sorry, opened up basically open and tr uh, closing trades on the positions. I've got 100 positions opened up, 100 trades. If I was to sit here managing 100 trades, it would not be possible. Day trading, I've done it, I've tried it. It's incredible. If everyone wants to do it, that's fine. But I like to use software to do this for me because it's completely passive. I just keep an eye on what's going on in the portfolio and obviously the balance. Moving on to the history is where it gets interesting. I have got many bots set up both long and short you can see them right here the short is uh, obviously making money now because the market is all over the place it is the weekend long positions are making profit taking 1.5 percent i made nine usdt on that trade alone this is all coming out today by the way in one day my accountant is going to freaking love this that's for sure <laughs> when i print out the schedules it is literally pages upon pages upon pages wild get a good accountant very very important because the tax man is going to be cracking down on this stuff for sure this trade here i got liquidated out of axe infinity 55 usdt i'm not worried about that it does happen i would safely assume and say based on these uh winning trades it's about a 90 to 95 percent win rate you can see them right here so incredible stuff this has been uh, the most insane thing i've ever done in crypto and given the fact that we're coming out of this crypto winter, moving into a bull market, things are going to get pretty wild with these trading bots. Now on OKX, they do have incredible bots built in. You can use a spot grid trading bot. You can use a futures grid trading bot. There are many, many bots, okay? 
many of them. Futures DCA Martingale strategy, the spot DCA Martingale, and infinity grid, infinity grid, moon grid, recurring buy, smart portfolio, the dip sniper, the peak sniper, the arbitrage, the iceberg, the TWAP as well. There's a lot. I've tried basically all of them, and I like the futures grid trading bots. Now, Casper as well, I'm up 48%. I'm using bigger leverage. I do not recommend trading with leverage in general unless you are well and truly prepared to lose that capital. That's what happens. 48% on Casper. You can follow these, by the way, in the Patreon. Link is below. 19% on Chainlink. Uh, we have 310% on TRB. This this old coin's been ridiculous this year. It's up like 3,000%. Wild. Uh, IMX here, right? 48%. So it's been a long day. 93% on WorldCoin and Optimism as well is up 35%. Very, very nice gains right there. So that is all on the Patreon. There's literally a video getting uploaded as we speak. Moving on, let's go to Crypto Bubbles. Have a quick look here. Hex. Ugh, yeah, I don't know what's going on with this. Be careful because there's going to be a lot of people shorting this for sure. 14% on the day, 12 on the week and 55 on the month. I stayed well and truly away from Hex. Moving on, we have Axe Infinity. I like play to earn games. And the interest that I was getting paid on this was ridiculous. 45% APY, 16% on the day, 28% uh, on the week, and 26% on the month. $5.82 USD. This was, I mean, let me put it this way. 60 to 280 USD, USD uh, during the peak of the bull market. Wild stuff. Moving on, we have Gala as well. 13.5% on the day, 44 on the week, 42 on the month. Still at two cents, play to earn. Uh, let's find some bullish coins here. Quant, 0. 0.4, 106. This one's been sideways for many, many months. And I honestly believe this will be a ten dollars to $20,000 asset in the future. Maybe five to 10 years long-term, ladies and gentlemen, long-term. Now, where is Solana? Uh, let's get into XRP. I've actually found that for the first time. 1.5% uh, on the day, 6.3 on the week, and 7.6 on the month. I still want to find Solana. Let's have a look here, ladies and gentlemen. Can I see it? It's probably too small. No, there. Oh, my gosh. There you go. Anyway, it's been a long day. 5% on the day, 9.4 on the week, 66% on the month. It is up, doing really, really nicely at 33 US dollars. Solana, there is a lot happening on that. We'll get to that in a moment. Now, Brad Garlinghouse is an absolute savage. Delving into the Ripple Labs lawsuit, we unveil the controversy surrounding XRP's victory over the SEC led by Brad Garlinghouse legend now as you can see right here the world of crypto is a treasure trove of intriguing narratives that significantly influence the entire market one such tale has recently seized the spotlight and uh, is the contentious legal tussle between ripple labs and the sec now moving down we have garlinghouse continues to battle and uh, Garlinghouse, not only uh, not one to be silenced, continued to voice his discontent even after his initial response. He took to various platforms to articulate his concerns regarding the SEC, lamenting the lack of regulatory clarity, perceived double standards, and ramifications of a lawsuit. We have Jay Clayton that was on CNBC Squawk Box. And uh, his brains just ripped him to shreds. But the hypocrisy is shocking. CNBC and Squawk CNBC should be calling him out for his BS. And as a reminder, Jay Clayton brought the case against Ripple, me and Chris Larson and left the building the next day. It's the truth. And he cast, cast I can't even say that, Clayton's role in uh, instigating the lawsuit before departing from the SEC post. Intriguingly, Garlinghouse... Uh, Persisted, persisted right now this, that this legal battle uh, might have been driven by the personal mo motivations or politically in instigated strategies that didn't necessarily align with the arguments uh, he presented during his CNBC interview. Now, that interview, I did retweet, so we're going to have a listen to that as well. Savage. And uh, yes, that is hypocrisy. Now, former SEC members uh, intensifies amid the settlement talks. Now, this is getting interesting, Okay. Could there be further settlement talks? Now, Johnny Deaton, here's Clayton lighten the American, uh, lighten the American people. Dude's a total fraud. He voted. Of course, it's his decision. As chairman, he controlled the money and the agenda. Now, if he didn't want to file the case against Ripple and XRP on his very last day before leaving the SEC to go advise One River on its $1 billion bet on Bitcoin and Ethereum, he wouldn't have. Now, I honestly believe there's going to be a settlement talk 
And uh, there is a deadline approaching for this. But in the ongoing SEC versus Ripple case, Judge Torres ordered both parties to jointly propose a briefing schedule concerning remedies for the remaining charges against Ripple, which is for the institutional sales. Some members of the crypto community believe Ripple has the upper hand in settlement talks. And the infamous William Hinman speech, uh, obviously the focal point in the SEC versus Ripple case, Significantly, the SEC attempted to, on a, at least six occasions to shield the Hinman speech related to, uh, documents under attorney-client privilege. Progress to trial would place the documents into public scrutiny, which they don't want to become public. As background, former SEC Director and Division of Corporate Finance, William Hinman said that Bitcoin and Ethereum are not securities. Hinman's connection with Simpson Thatcher was cont a continuous issue right now. And Simpson Th Th Thatcher, sorry, is part of a group that promotes enterprise Ethereum. And after leaving the SEC, Hinman returned to Simpson Thatcher. The Hinman speech related to documents could feature in any settlement discussions. However, there is concern that the SEC will appeal the programmatic sales of XRP ruling. The consensus is that the SEC is expediting the SECFS Ripple case to appeal the programmatic sales ruling. And Judge Torres previously rejected the SEC's motion for interlocutory appeal, uh, forcing the SEC to proceed with the SEC uh, versus Ripple case to its conclusion before betting, uh, being able to file any appeals. Uncertainty about the SEC plans to appeal continues to influence the XRP price movements. Now, the case is still not over but it is well and truly in Ripple's favor. And I honestly believe there will be a Ripple settlement. Now, Solana is looking incredibly juicy at the moment, but a $3,000 price tag means Solana would have to achieve a market cap of $1.25 trillion. And Bitcoin peaked at $1.22 trillion at the height of the previous bull run. Hence, Sol's trajectory is not impossible feat. And I agree. There is a lot happening on the Solana network as well. And it's no secret that Solana network has recently been receiving more attention. This is not by chance, but rather due to the fact that the network has been aggressively building in preparation for the next major rally. Solana has thus been experiencing a healthy growth thanks to the focus on developments. It also owes that growth to the growing number of protocols that have constituted its ballooning ecosystem. And a recent Masari post offering a glimpse at the key areas that have been fueling Solana's growth, consumer apps, liquid staking tokens, derivatives, and lending tokens are among them right here. And I've got that retweeted on uh, Twitter as well, or X. Let's have a look at that in a moment. Rob Kiyosaki, bullish on Rich Dad Poor Dad. If you want that book, I suggest you read it. As a friend, it is linked below. Go grab yourself a copy of that. But in time of global economic uncertainty, managing investment portfolios become a critical topic among investors seeking ways to navigate this period. And uh, of course, Rob Kiyosaki has raised the alarm about what he anticipate as the greatest crash in world history. In preparation for this crash, Kiyosaki has urged investors to consider a significant shift in their portfolios to protect their wealth. And uh, he's basically said this, Kiyosaki criticized traditional investment advice advocating for 60% allocation to bonds and 40% to stocks, suggesting uh, that such approach may not withstand the potential crash next year. And in this instance, Kiyosaki advised investors to reallocate their portfolios to include gold, silver, and Bitcoin. He noted that these assets have the potential to withstand the impending crash. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Chainlink, I'm very bullish on Chainlink as well, and I do apologize about these stupid pop-ups. Why is every freaking website got pop-ups? Honestly, enough with the pop-ups. Link is more than just a token, and it could flip Ethereum. And crypto analyst Unreal Ape sings uh, the praises of Chainlink. The analyst asserted Chainlink uh, is more than just a token and may flip Ethereum. And Unreal Ape believes that Chainlink has become a universal plug connecting anything and everything to the blockchain. And again, I honestly believe that as well. Now, interesting update here, but KBank acquires major stake in uh, Santang Crypto Exchange and eyes a 20% time market share by 2024. KBank has acquired a 95% stake in Santang Corporation, a leading crypto exchange in Thailand with 3.7 billion Thai baht, $102 million US dollars, through its new subsidiary, United Capital. Following the acquisition, Santang will be rebranded as Orbix and will include three new subsidiaries aimed at expanding its digital asset services. And KBank aims to capture 20% of Thailand's crypto market share by next year, heading up the competition with other players such as Siam Commercial Bank and Golf. 
Very, very interesting. Shiba Inu as well. Quickly on this, burn rate is skyrocketing. And I'm still holding on to this, but the Shiba Inu ranking as the second largest meme coin is actively engaged in initiatives and progresses uh, the coin, notably the Shiba Inu burn rate. And the Shiba burn rate has seen fluctuations, but recently displays stability with a consistent daily burning of millions of tokens. And Shiba burn reports that 5,600% increase in the Shiba burn rate with 264 million Shiba Inu burned in the last 24 hours, including a single transaction of 250 million Shiba Inu. That is a lot of Shiba Inu. Moving on, of course, we have Van Eck resubmitting their Bitcoin ETF application to the SEC. An investment giant has once again applied for a spot Bitcoin ETF with the United States Securities and Exchange Commission, Gary Gensler. So it's going to be very interesting. This is just another player that's coming into this space. And let's go to CryptoMeter.io. We've got money going into Gala, Chainlink. We have Monero, Doge, Arbitrum, Fet, Matic, Mbox, and Rendo as well. So that's where the money has been going. Let's go to X quickly and have a look here. There is a lot to go through. I'm at uh, the Wall Street Bull Oz with the official blue check mark. Thank you, Elon. Make sure you're following the right account. Yes, that is the XRP scullering. Go check it out, Bulls. This is Masari and Solana. The ecosystem is growing significantly. Of course, we've got gaming, DeFi, NFTs, of course, NFTs. If you bought an NFT off uh, OpenSea, which I haven't been on for a long time, it's a lot cheaper, that's for sure. Derivatives, yield. We have stable coins as well. We have protocol infrastructure, gaming projects, developer infrastructure, RWA as well. Nice. I'm still bullish on Solana. Ripple has been advertising at uh, the uh, Premier League soccer game, which is interesting. Somebody captured that. Now, we have an interesting interview right here with Alexis O. Oh, Hanian right here. I cannot pronounce your name correctly. I apologize. Have a listen to this. I have been in crypto for over a decade. I have invested through every single winter. None of them phase me. Um, they're all healthy uh, because they sort of clear out the tourists and the grifters um, in, in every Truth. sector, in every industry. And, and I think here we're seeing a response to my guess, a, a sort of broader macro and global uncertainty. And what's wild is I know for, for some viewers, it may seem a little surprising that people would find safety in a volatile cryptocurrency like Bitcoin. But the fact that it is truly uh, decentralized and, and the fact that it is backed by conviction, you know, to me, Bitcoin has never felt really all that different from gold. Um, you know, if you explain to me that gold was a really important part of human culture, I'd understand it. As an Armenian, I, I know I, I, for whatever reason, just love, love gold. Um, we, ha we have a cultural affinity for this shiny piece of metal, uh, the shiny rock, and, and it's been built over years and years and years, and there are plenty of investors who won't touch it because they feel like it's not a, a great asset, um, but there's a whole heck of a lot of people who have a strong cultural affinity for it, and I think Bitcoin is in a similar camp. Um, maybe it's a different generation, maybe it's more sort of technology-oriented folks, but at the end of the day, you know, I'm here, I'm investing in asteroid mining companies, and one thing I am right. certain of is we're never going to find a bunch of new Bitcoin on an asteroid. Truth, absolute truth. Van Eck, their new ETF application. And uh, some interesting interviews with Gary Gensler. This guy looks like Mr. Burns. I'm sorry, but it's the truth. Have a listen to this. He's basically saying that there is, you know, Ethereum futures ETFs, and he doesn't know why Bitcoin was not approved. This is when he was teaching at MIT. Have a listen to this. Yeah, but it seems, it feels a little inconsistent. Even though the laws aren't exactly the same, they're quite similar. Bitcoin futures and I think Ethereum futures and so forth will exist and Bitcoin ETFs have not. And that, that feels a little inconsistent to me. What happened, man? Seriously, dude, what happened? Bitcoin halving is in April next year and the next bull market could peak, uh, obviously could occur 518, 546 days after the halving, meaning the price of Bitcoin is going to go skyrocketing. And uh, I think it will happen as well. There's just too much interest in Bitcoin at the moment. And uh, there's only half a year to go for that. The approval of a spot ETF by the SEC could lead to an influx of $300 billion of capital into Bitcoin. This is for Morgan Creek Capital. Thank you, Crypto Rover. And yes, Danny Ricardo got points in the Formula One. Very, very nice. Let's go to Coin Market Cap Bulls. And you can see I'm uploading at the moment for the Patreon. $1.2 trillion, $29 billion in volume today. Uh, we have 52% Bitcoin, 17% Ethereum, 26,985 cryptos. This is my portfolio. The top gainer 
BTT, this thing's been going wild. Don't ask me why. Like literally like this. Look at it. It's ridiculous. Anyway, Axie, Gala, Nexra, ICP, Sandbox, and Solana is there as well. I do post this up every day in the Patreon. That's why it's just skyrocketing. Of course, my main focus is the banking coins. Bitcoin is in there. It is digital gold. Solana is as well, and XRP. I cannot wait for this thing. So bullish on XRP. And it's still up all time, ladies and gentlemen. Let's have a look. 9,367%. Where would you get this in any traditional market? You wouldn't. Anyway, I'm out. Thank you very much. Join the Patreon. Follow me on social media. All the referral links are below. And if you have any questions, you can literally DM me in the Patreon. All right. So join up to that. Bullish stuff happening with the bots. And yes, the market is quiet at the moment, but we have just come into profit today, which is nice. Very, very good, guys. I'll speak to everyone soon. Have a good night, a good evening, a good morning. If it's morning, have an espresso. Peace out, bulls. Bye.